Oh man, look at it go. <laughs> All right guys, so you're topping your drives and you're really struggling with it. I know it really stinks and it's completely embarrassing off the first tee especially. So today I wanna to talk about some, a really good feeling for you to help you stop topping those drives and get off hitting the driver long and straight. So let's go and get started. All right guys, so top of your drives, I know it really stinks and it's totally embarrassing, especially off of that first tee. So today I'm talking about how we can get that good feeling, what we're doing in our swing to help us, got, help us to stop from topping these drives. So the number one thing I see, because you know all of us instructors out there in the world on TV, maybe your local pro, especially with your driver, they're teaching you to hit up on the golf ball. So maybe you're trying to get, trying to get this motion here, their impact but you can't, still can't quite get it right. It doesn't matter how high you tee it up, maybe it's low or even high, you're still topping it. So the number one thing I see the most with people with their driver, especially they're trying to catch, hit up on the golf ball, is they're actually casting the club on the way down. So this motion right here. So that, that's kind of a natural feeling, feeling for me, especially for you beginners. I remember when I was a beginner, I was definitely casting the club. I was having a big old slice. And yeah, sometimes I definitely would top the golf ball. So the natural reaction for us as human beings is to really kind of go in this direction instead of coming down to the ball and allow our hands to stay ahead of the club head and shallow at that club and then on impact have a, some shaft lane. So that's what thing I'm gonna talk about today, a good feeling for you to keep this motion on the way down. So if I'm gonna take your hand, this is a drill, we're gonna, we're gonna create um, flexion in the, in the wrist, I'm sorry, extension in the wrist. You're gonna try to create this angle on the way down. You hear about people creating lag, this motion right here. So this is casting, and, we're, and this is where we're gonna try to create this motion here. I want you to try to do this. It's kind of like an old thing. I remember when I was a kid, I used to, I used to be really jealous that people used to take their thumb and bend it all the way back to the wrist. I don't know if you remember people doing that or even if you were able to do it. So go ahead and take your hand here, and I want you to kind of get into a position of uh, extension here, and go ahead and try to take your thumb and bend it back to, you see your, back to your forearm there. And that's going to give you the actual feeling. So when you take it to the top of your golf swing, do that same feeling. Kind of bend your hand, bend your thumb back, and that's when you'll see, that's going to put me in a good position of extension where we want on the way down. And go ahead and feel that same motion as we take it down. Go ahead and try to feel like you're swinging a golf club. You'll notice, look, my elbow is tucked. I'm still holding on to this lag here. It's almost impossible for me to throw that club out to move do this motion here like we're, gaunt, we're, like we're fishing here and all the way on through impact. So now the key thing is when I see people kind of trying to create lag, the thing I see people doing them that's wrong is they're holding on to this all the way through impact. That's actually, we don't want to do that. That's leaving our club face open. Our hands are way too ahead and you haven't allowed that club head to release through. So now that you've worked on this motion, feeling that extension, that wrist, really feeling those hands kind of creating that lag on the way down. Now what's coming into impact, I want you to feel Right as your hands begin to get right at the ball here, you can see, I'm gonna to try to get to my address position here. Right as my hands start to come in right into the ball, I want you to allow that lever. So you've created this lever right here. I want you to try to let that release. Go ahead and without tension in your hands, just go ahead and let that club release on through. Right about there, boom. So then impact, you're hitting it slightly on the upswing. We're, get, we're releasing the club face and what we're doing is creating more speed. That's gonna allow you to still stay the level down here at the ball, boom, and then an impact, release that lever, and it's going, that club is gonna whip on through with impact. All right guys, so try to work on that. Try to feel this same motion here, right at impact, right again, right as the club head comes, the hands start to get right at the ball, boom, you can release that club, and hopefully you'll never top a drive ever again. All right guys, so good luck working on that. Have fun and play well as always. Hey guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video, talking about how you can stop topping those drives. So now, like I was mentioning before, as far as this motion, we need to release the club. So the preview that's gonna play here is gonna talk about the straight line release. It's gonna be really important if you click on that I card, it's gonna take you to the full version of that video. So now that we've got this motion going, we need to know how we can release the golf club after hitting the golf ball. That's very important to click on that I card to see that full video. And we're gonna give you five free bonus videos on there as well. So go ahead and click the I card, watch the full video, and good luck working on it. Have fun and play well. A common misconception I see is that we want to create lag and we just want to hold that lag all the way on through contact and get as much lag as we can coming through contact. And that's simply not true. 
in the release section, we're going to talk about how to turn that lag into energy, how to turn that into speed so that you can hit it very far and do it, like we mentioned, without hardly any effort at all. And as we're coming through contact, we're going to fully release this angle as we're about 45 past contact. So if I draw you know, a 45 degree angle, I should be looking at both arms, nice and straight, the club splitting those arms. So that by releasing the club, by getting this angle to release as we're coming through contact, that's what's gonna create the speed. Our hands are moving a very short distance, our club is moving a very long distance through contact, and it creates that whip-like effect. Very different swings hitting the exact same position. So first, let's take a look at Dustin Johnson releasing the club 45 past. And the reason we're gonna see such similar or such different swings producing similar positions is that this is the real physics of how this has to happen. Here we're looking at Sergio Garcia. Again, we're gonna to see tons.